everybody video here for you today now i never know what i'm going to talk about next and sometimes a news story will pop up at the right time i've been following this story for i don't know eight nine ten months i like to talk about many periods of history we are going down to sunrise wyoming today you notice right down here we have a mine or a quarry right down here but the dating of this place is pretty special i've talked about red ochre in a lot of my videos 13,000 years ago, right down here, people were mining red ochre for specific purposes. What those purposes are is a little bit sketchy, but right down here, there is a site where they have been working on these finds. They call this the oldest mine in the Americas, right down here. If you have followed my videos, you know I've talked a lot about how sites have been preserved, treated over time. Well, let's just read about what was going on at this site here. Here is the Cowboy State Daily. This story just came out a few days ago. Here is a look at the site. It says Wyoming, home to the oldest known prehistoric mine in North and South America. It says Wyoming is home to the oldest known prehistoric mine in at least two continents, and the state agency is working to help preserve it. In a release from the Wyoming Department of Environmental Quality, the department announced its plans to preserve the Powers II Paleo Indian Archaeological Site in Sunrise, believed to be the oldest known mining operation in both North and South America. The DEQ partnered with a number of individuals to preserve the 13,000 year old ochre mine so archaeologists can study the site for many years to come. Well, that is refreshing to say the least, considering the stories I've done. It says, Ochre is a powdery mineral that some Native American tribes use as a pigment for a variety of ritualistic purposes. It comes in a variety of natural colors, but the ochre in sunrise is red, and I've talked about ochre being used in India, ancient Egypt, ancient Europe, ancient South America, all over the place, seem to be a cross-culture thing for whatever reason. Here's a story from 2018, Indian ochre mine in Wyoming, maybe the largest in North America. They have found dozens of Clovis points and other artifacts here. Here's just a few of them. It says Powers II site has been a source of fascination by archeologists since the 1980s when a remarkable collection of Paleo Indian artifacts from an early 20th century collection came to the attention of archeologists associated with the Smithsonian Institute and the University of Wyoming. Research conducted by George Friesen, Wyoming's own father of archeology, span George Siemens and Spencer Pelton has yielded thousands of Paleo-Indian artifacts eroding from the site, including over 50 Clovis points from 13,000 to 11,000 years ago. Here are some of the artifacts found at the Powers II site, labeled as Clovis artifacts, made roughly 11,000 to 13,000 years ago. Here are projectile points made after the Clovis period. But this place seemed to be in mine for thousands of years. Here's a story that also just came out a few days ago, Powers II, North America's oldest known abandoned mine. It says the DEQ helps preserve oldest known prehistoric mine in North America. It says a one of a kind prehistoric site in Wyoming exists today, almost by coincidence, the Powers II Paleo Indian site in Sunrise, believed to be the oldest known mining operation in both North and South America, would have been wiped out if former Sunrise resident Wayne Powers hadn't shown up for a school reunion one day before the scheduled demolition. It says Powers first discovered the site when he was teaching and coaching in Sunrise in 1939-40, but he didn't report his findings until 1986 when he returned to town and discovered that the site would be inadvertently raised as part of a project by the DEQ Abandoned Mine Land Program. George Friesen right here got involved in the archeological work here in 1981 when a gentleman showed him a sack of artifacts he found by the railroad tracks below the ancient mine there. Spencer Pelton became involved with the project in 2016 when he was a doctoral student at the University of Wyoming. But these three people were integral in recognizing how important this site was and getting this site preserved. This website does have a video. I will leave the link for this below. They have a little slideshow on this website. Here it says geological engineer Harold Hudson working with archeological site investigator 
George Zevens, and George is one of the people integral in getting the site preserved. The Sunrise Iron Mine Powers II Prehistoric Ochre Mine Site. The problem, the significant prehistoric ochre mine and cultural deposit were eroding off a man-made high wall where an old operator of the Sunrise Iron Mine had bulldozed off part of the ridge supporting the archaeological site. One here says this is a ground level overview, shows the high wall, mine spoil, road fill, and ochre mining location right there. It says a bulldozer was used to push material up to an orange spray paint line so that archaeologists could safely survey the open deposit face and salvage any artifacts right at the surface. It says important artifacts, including several points, tools, and work bone artifacts were found in this salvage area, hinting at what may be found in the intact strata. Note the intact deposit at the upper left of the photo. Here's a look at some of the projectile points found at the site, some of these dating back 13,000 years. There are some other things found here, numerous artifacts found. There are some more, some more, some more, some more. It says this safety and stabilization project removes the inherent site hazards and provides stability for a unique and very significant Clovis cultural site so that it will be protected from degradation as future archaeologists and site visitors study the secrets it can reveal about this ancient American culture. I thought this was a good story to cover for my Ancient America series, Red Ochre, being mined here during the Younger Dries period. That's certainly interesting. But this site here, just dig down, you go way back in time, a lot of artifacts found here from a period we know little about. At the end of the Ice Age, people were mining red ochre down here. I think this is a very cool story. I think that'll wrap it up. 13,000 years ago is a long time ago. Ancient America has a lot of secrets, but thanks to some individuals here, the importance of this site got known. It was preserved. They want to get this on an official list of historical sites. That is a video coming from Ancient America. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.